We're going to write a letter. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to show you how to do that. <clears throat> now, here's the thing about letter writing is that it is a, almost what people call a forgotten art. And that, me, and that is because a lot of times these days, what we do is we email. And that is, that's cool. Um, email is kind of like letter writing, except it's not. Letter writing is awesome. Letter writing is important. If you haven't written a letter to somebody, you're about to have a really amazing experience. It's an amazing experience because getting letters is the best. It is so great. Getting letters is fun. And here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to write a letter. Here we go. Dear. Ready? Jim Bridenstine. Holy smokes. Do you know that name? You should. This is the administrator of NASA, Bridenstein. And he is actually a really cool guy. Dear Jim Bridenstein, we're writing you a letter today. This is what's gonna happen. Oh my gosh, you guys, you should definitely, you, 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 you should definitely write a letter to Jim Bridenstein, who is the administrator of NASA. Jim Bridenstein is in charge of the next mission to the moon. The very next person who walks on the moon is almost certainly a person who's a woman. That is amazing. So exciting. Now, it's not going to be a kid who gets to go to the moon just yet. That's in the future. But uh, there's, we're going to have kids in space. And that's why you're going to write a letter to Jim Bridenstein to let Jim Bridenstein know that you want to go to space. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Did I tell you this is gonna be awesome or what? Holy wow. All right, let's look. First of all, I like to date the letter. Now, if you're in the military, you'd write it like this. 20, 20. And then I would write this. Dear Jim Bridenstine. So that's a great way to start a letter, really. I mean, that is a terrific way. You could also say, hello, al allow me to introduce myself. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mike Mongo. I am a, I am a 10 year old. I'm a 12 year old. I'm a 14 year old. I'm an 18 year old, whichever. I am a, watch, watch this. I am a 55 year old, old person, like you would say student, who gets to work with students that's you in the usa and around the world watch this period look at that my job is to encourage students that's you my job is to encourage students to pursue careers in space I would like to be an astronaut teacher in space. And then, this is important. Thank you. Very much. And then you sign it. I use my cursive signature. After, after writing that, we'd fold it up. So you fold it halfway, and then there. And then this goes in an envelope. Okay, so first of all, we gotta write the address on there. This is a, uh, and if you look in the show notes, you'll find that I put the address for Jim Bridenstine. You can write your own letter to the administrator of NASA. I have given you that opportunity by putting the address in the show notes. So you can look in the show notes, and you'll be able to find the address for Jim Bridenstine, administrator of NASA. Jim Bridenstine is gonna be remembered as one of the best administrators of NASA we've ever had. Took over at a difficult time, making space for everybody so that there's a place for everybody at NASA. Doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what your background is, as long as you're awesome, you're welcome. Office of the Administrator. How cool is that? Administrator of NASA. And don't have your parents fill this out. You get to do it. Attention, A-T-T-N, Jim Bridenstine. How cool is that? And because NASA's so big, you get to write NASA headquarters. I'm thinking of like the, Avenger, the Avengers headquarters. And then the last thing is the city, Washington, D.C. That's the District of Columbia. And then the zip code. Okay, that's that. That's called addressing the envelope. 
The next thing that I'm going to do is put my own address on there. Okay, so that's what I would put, and that's going to be an address envelope. That's how that's what it looks like. See, the part you put down is on the other side, just like this. Letter goes in the envelope, and that's how that works. This is an old style letter. This is how we used to do it. See this? This is called gum or glue. So you take the envelope and you do this. No, I'm not even kidding. You really do this. You lick the gum. It it's not great tasting. Sometimes they, they make it good tasting, but this is no big, like nothing to write home about. The flavor was nothing to write home about. And that is an addressed envelope. It's addressed and sealed. Look, <laughs> like honestly. So we have these new envelopes that um, that they just self they're self adhesive. Here in the future, we have self adhesive. But this is the real thing. I want you to know how we did it. I'll put it in the sun because it is the time of coronavirus. Like So, we go back over here. These are stamps. These were so cool, I had to get two sheets of them. You can get stamps to match anything that you like. I used to be really into Hot Wheels. Look how great these are. Look at that, Rocket by Baby. That's a space stamp. And Sesame Street stamps. Sesame Street stamps. I love them. Look how great that stamp is. This is why it's so fun to mail letters. I should use an astronaut stamp for the director of NASA, right? So it only takes one stamp. It goes on here, watch. Look. And then you put it right there. Look how cool that is. And now it's ready to mail. I'm going to put a sticker on his envelope. Look how great that letter is. Wow. We're mailing a letter, and you can too, and you should, as a student, mail a letter to the administrator of NASA. Just like that, that's how you do it. This is signed, sealed, and delivered. I'll put this in the mailbox today. They'll pick it up and then take it there. That's all I had to do to get a letter to the administrator of NASA. I guarantee you that Jim Bridenstine is gonna write a letter back to me. And then I'll have that forever. You can, you can do this, you have to do this. Get, uh, enroll a grown-up and they will help you do this, okay? We're all on the same page. And that, my friends, is how to write